Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at Incognita, a turn-based tactical espionage game by Clay Entertainment, who made Don't Starve, Mark of the Ninja, which you will have seen on my channel, hopefully. So, we are going to be showing you this. I was meant to do a video on this game a couple of weeks ago, Clay gave me permission to do it, and quite honestly I got sidetracked so it just hasn't happened. So, we're now going to do it. Um, preemptive warning before I begin, I have played uh, one game of this, just literally I've finished one mission, that's it, and that ended horribly. It basically ended with, I went in with two people, I saved someone, one of my guys got shot and the other two escaped with an army of troops chasing them, so this probably won't go much better, but we'll see. You never know. I may have somehow improved. So, randomises the game, as I'm sure you probably guessed. Uh, right, so... I forgot how you look around. There we go. I keep trying to use WAS and D. Okay. So, I'll try and explain things as we go. Obviously, it's turn-based movement, so you get these usual overhead grids. So we want to go here, and look down here. Right, there's some doors down here. Is there any computers that we can see? Because the thing we want to do is these CPU points, you can use them to go into the mainframe. And in the mainframe you can hack things, so if there's any doors you can't get past, you hack the door. It all makes sense. Another thing you may have noticed, for the more observant people. There's turn up here, alarm. Every turn, that goes up by one. If I'm still here in 20 turns, they know I'm here, and everyone dies. So, that's not good either. Uh, everything I do can start to trigger that alarm faster. Like, so, if a camera sees me, it goes on my one. If I kill a guard, they all have heartbeat monitors that monitor whether they're still alive or not. How convenient that is. Um, if for any reason they're, they're dead, the alarm goes up by one, and then people can discover their bodies and all that kind of lovely stuff. It's probably not wise me actually getting my guys to split up, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. And a camera just saw me. So, I'm going to shut the door. We know it's in there, there's nothing else in there of any importance at the minute, we need to get to a computer and get rid of the mainframe. That's priority number one. So we're going to go over here. We're going to open the door. Is there a computer in here? Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Bless me. There we go. There is not a computer in this room. Should we go further down looking for it? I think it might be an idea. There's one. I literally just walked past it. We'll open the door anyway and have a look what's going on. What's this? A pass card. And a safe. Okay, right. So, we're already four points into the alarm. Oh, that's sorry, that's a shop, but it's not a computer to hack, it's a store. That's of no use to me. Oh, there's another door up here. Okay, you can carry on investigating this place then. There's more doors. So, in, yeah, in case you hadn't noticed as well, it's all very much like... Ah, ha! Hack the consoles! One done, we now have a mainframe point. I can now turn the camera off. There you go. So my one CPU point has been spent on turning off that camera, so now I can go in that room without it alerting more people. And it looks like there's also a computer console there, so I can hack that one, get one, hack that one, get a second one, then we've got three points to spend. So we can start unlocking this through the mainframe, rather than putting a spy in its way. So first thing we're going to go and do, we're going to go and try and get that pass card. We just got caught by a camera again. So, this is bad, but next turn we can turn it off. So, that's exactly what we're going to try and do. So, I now have my mainframe point back, turn that off. Right, that's two cameras gone. Right, you, go and pick up that last card. There's another camera. God. 
damn it. Get away from the camera. Right, now that camera doesn't matter because we're not going to be going back up there again. I don't think. So that now can't see me. So. I don't think it matters now. Right, you hijack that console. There's another CPU point. What's up here? Is that another console? It is. Right, we're finding all the computers. Which is good. So, enter again. I can't believe we're nearly halfway through. We're going to get gold coming after us to this, right? I wonder where we've got to go. I wonder what that pass key's for. I wonder if it's for the safe or it's for some kind of door. Hmm, we got there. Right, I'm thinking the safe, I'm going to unlock that using the mainframe. Because I've got a feeling it's going to be a choice. With ways, but Ooh, hello. Right, that's obviously something of importance, so... Mainframe. Turn it off. Did we turn that off? Now we've turned it off. Another camera, come on. You are having a giraffe now. Right, mainframe. Turn off that bloody camera. Right, he's still got movement left, hasn't he? Yes. Ooh, suddenly that just opened. Aha! Important room, methinks. <sighs> tut, 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 tut. How many mainframe points have we got? Three. I want the console. We're now in the mainframe. Now I can completely disable that. We can't even get to that, so I might as well disable that. One, two. There we go. Out of mainframe view. And get out. Because we want to go and empty that safe of all its contents. Because that's exactly what we're here for. Right. Oh, this is the other thing, unlike a lot of other turn base I don't know why I just did that. A lot of other turn base ones. You don't have to just do like the entire move, you can do little bits at a time. Which is quite good it's until you've used up all the action points you've got. Which is nice. I believe I've played a lot of games where you sit there thinking, Oh, I wanna just do this bit first, then I wanna do this and whereas this allows you a little bit more. I okay, I've been spotted by someone down there and He's dead. I don't believe it. He's dead. Needs passcode. So it's him who needs the passcode. He's just gone. So I'm now down to one spy who's got to do everything. And they're now alerted. Said it was going to end badly. Well, there's no way I'm getting to him to revive him, so. Sorry, mate. But you did. Run, 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 run. Shoot. There we go. Oh, oh I did use the dog. Thank God. Mainframe. Nothing we can unlock with the mainframe apart from that, but that's not really that much use to us. So there's two geese that can see that, and that's the place we need to be in. So if we can sneak to here, and sneak to here, we can shut that door so they can't see us. 
I think. He stands back up in one more turn. And he's just been spotted a lot. Right, he's now KO'd a little bit longer. That is good. As you can tell, I'm not a very good spy. Not in any sense of the word. Unlock the door. Open the door. Right, we know there's one here, roughly. Shoot. Shoot. Shut the door so he can't see me. <laughs> That's my only hope. Oh, we're getting dangerously close now. Open the door. He's over there. Shoot him. He won't let me shoot him. There we go. Run over to there. Go away, camera. Open the door. Take that off there. What's all? Oh, I just found the server that marks all the computers. I don't care if I'm meant to be escaping or what now. I'm thinking it might be an idea to run. Because I thought this was what I was looking for. But it just locates all the computers. But I don't need all the computers. Usually it tells you like if you've got to save someone or not, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. I mean, there's a lot of this place I still haven't explored. You know, but... Oh, this is... Uh... I wonder if we can just exit. Because that might be safer. Because I've got three turns before that thing fills with units coming in to kill me. And, you know, I've only got a couple of turns these guys start standing back up. So I think... my safest option is to see if I can exit the game. Or exit this mission. Because, if I can't... I'm going to be very dead soon. I've now got even less time. I need to run. And I need to run fast. I think he's going to stand up and he's just going to kill me. I don't drop it. I'd rather you actually load it into your gun. There we go. Can you shoot him? No? You can't shoot him? Well, then I'm afraid we're dead. Because he's going to stand up and he's then going to shoot you. Because they can shoot you on the same turn that they stand up. So he's now going to kill me, isn't he? Oh, no. He obviously didn't have a sight on me either. Cover deflection. Oh. Snappers. Run like the wind, bullseye. Two more turns until they stand up, and I've got a small mirror of tree precision unit coming to kill me. Okay, let's think this through. We know they're there, but they're probably going to be trying to come around that way. Yeah? No, even I don't believe that. 
run, 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 run. If we do this right, I can run, pray, <laughs> and then exit. It's not going to work. This is a complete fail. I have made so many mistakes in this. The question is, is which way are they going? Because I don't know. I haven't got a sight on them to know. Okay, we're crouched. Next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has about that. <sighs> start, start crossing everything you can. Cross your fingers and everything with me now, because we need to. If they find me this turn, I'm gone. If for any reason it won't let me exit, I'm gone. Run! Escape! We did it! <laughs> With 100 pounds! A man died and we got 100 pounds. But it's a mission completed nonetheless. Right, I think you get the general idea with this game. As you can clearly see, I've got one geezer left because I didn't do very well. So, this is probably a complete fail from here anyway. So, leave me a like if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, let me know. I'm sure you will. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Helps me out majorly. Uh, thank you for all the support recently, and I hope you've been enjoying the content. Keep letting me know what you're thinking about it so I can adjust it to what you people want to see. So, thanks again, and I'll see you soon. This has been Incognita. Check out the description below for a link to Clay and Incognita if you wish to try it for yourself. And you'll probably do a lot better than me. So, yeah, and if you've got any tips for me as well, send me them, because that way I can look like a pro, and I can give you all the credit for it. So, it's all it works either way. Right, thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.